Hey everybody, this is I on Stuff, and today I'm going to review and show you how to use the Yongnuo RF 603C version 2. The C is for Canon. If you get an N version, that's Nikon. This is a wireless flash trigger and shutter release. It does not require a line of sight to use. Uh, it uses radio frequencies in the 2.4 gigahertz range. You can get one pair of these, that's quantity two, for about $30 on Amazon. Get the version two because it has features that the version one does not. And that's really important. First of all, the on-off switch, which is located right there, that's on the side of the unit in this version 2. On version 1, it was actually on top here. So if you were to attach a flash unit to it, the it would be difficult to turn the unit on or off. So that's important. There is a ring lock that will secure the unit to the camera, which is right here. And the sync speed is now 320th of a second compared to 250th. And it has a 100 meter range, 16 channels versus 12 channels, I believe. The button is located here, and that is a half press and full press button. So you can do a half press to focus and full press to take the picture. There is a 2.5 millimeter shutter cable socket on the side of the unit here. Now this is the shutter release cable that connects to your camera and you're going to need to get one that matches your camera. I actually got the Canon N3 connector for my camera. Um, which is a 5D or 7D, which I have. And let's see here. Um, it does have a PC socket output, which is located right in the back here. And the unit weighs 65 grams with the batteries. And that's with two AAA batteries as you can see in the uh, picture here. Okay, as you can see here, I have a camera and I already attached one of the transceivers to it. And the transceiver is set to TRX. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set up an off-camera flash using it. So. Right now one of the transceivers is on the camera. You would take the other transceiver, connect it to a stand, your flash stand or a, of some type. Let's see if I can get this thing on. Then you attach your flash unit on top of the transceiver. Okay, you want to make sure your flash is on as well as the transceiver. You want to make sure that is also on TRX. I'll set that flash off the camera here. Okay, the camera is on. The transceiver on the camera is set to TRX. The flash and its transceiver is set to TRX. And there you see off-camera flash. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a remote shutter release. So you take your shutter release cable, make sure that your cable matches your camera. So on the side here, I have a Canon N3 connector, which I'll connect now. That connects to the camera. 
The other end connects to the 2.5 millimeter socket on the side of the transceiver. Okay, now you can use the third transceiver here and this will be handheld or you can put in your pocket, whatever. And this unit should be set to TRX as well. And this will remotely flash and take a picture. You can half press to focus, take the picture with a full press and you see the flash as well. I'll do that again. So that's a setup where you can use three transceivers. One on the camera to transmit to the flash and trigger it. One on the one connected to the flash that triggers the flash remotely. And you can use one for remote triggering of the shutter release. And remember that these transceivers, the Yongnuo, actually you can see it up here, it's a Yongnuo RF603 version 2. Now these units do not transmit TTL data, so this is perfect for manual exposure settings. Um, if you're in a studio, doing portraits, and you're using a light meter of some type, um, you can use these transceivers. These are the best affordable transceivers you can get for the money. And this is something I would highly recommend. Thanks for watching Ion Stuff. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.